In this video, we will talk about the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner CLF C02 and will cover important information about this certification so you can be well prepared for it. By the end of this video, you will be able to understand AWS certifications, define what an AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner is, who is the target candidate for this certification, get familiar with the exam overview and content, Compare the difference between the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner CLF C01 and CLF C02 versions. Without further ado, let's get started. Let us first define what an AWS certification is. AWS certifications are credentials you can earn to validate your skills and technical knowledge in planning, deployment, and management of projects and systems that utilize AWS. Upon fulfilling the certification requirements, you'll be granted an AWS Certified Logo Badge which can be incorporated into your professional materials such as business cards. This badge serves as a valuable tool for showcasing your AWS proficiency to gain recognition and visibility. Let's take a trip down memory lane. Way back in 2013, Amazon Web Services initiated its global certification program aiming to validate the technical expertise of IT professionals in building secure and reliable cloud-based applications with AWS Cloud. In April of that year, AWS introduced its inaugural certification test known as the AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate Exam. Subsequently, AWS rolled out two more exams, the AWS Certified SysOps Administrator and AWS Certified Developer Associate. These certifications served as markers of proficiency for individuals in the field of cloud computing. Amazon has consistently grown and refreshed its certification program annually. They introduced a range of professional and specialty level certifications that cover various topics like advanced networking, data analytics, database, DevOps, machine learning, security, and more. With the ever-expanding array of AWS services, Amazon regularly unveils a new and updated version of the AWS certification exam. This update aims to stay current with recent service changes and incorporate emerging knowledge areas. Now that you have a general understanding of AWS certifications and its history, let's discuss what an AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner is. In December 2017, Amazon Web Services introduced its foundational certification exam known as the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner. This certification targets candidates who may not have a technical background and those who are relatively new to the field of information technology. This includes college students and recent graduates and is open to candidates without any prerequisites allowing you to take the exam directly without the need of prior certifications, degrees, or specific training. These candidates might be in the early stages of pursuing an AWS cloud career or might work with people in AWS cloud roles. The Cloud Practitioner exam evaluates your grasp of fundamental cloud principles, terminology, AWS services, and other essential AWS-related topics. It was identified by the exam code CLFC01 by then, and on September 2023, a new version was released with exam code CLFC02. The AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner exam is designed for individuals who can showcase a comprehensive understanding of the AWS Cloud regardless of their specific job role. The exam validates a candidate's capability to complete the following tasks. Explain the value of the AWS Cloud, understand and explain the AWS Shared Responsibility Model, understand security best practices, understand AWS Cloud costs, economics, and billing practices, Describe and position the core AWS services including compute, network, database, and storage services. Identify AWS services for common use cases. The recommended AWS knowledge for taking this certification is as follows. AWS Cloud Concepts, Security and Compliance in the AWS Cloud, Core AWS Services, Economics of the AWS Cloud. In contrast with the recommended AWS knowledge, it's equally important to know the job tasks that are out of scope for the exam. The following list enumerates job responsibilities that a target candidate is not expected to be able to perform. This list is non-exhaustive and the exam does not cover these tasks. Coding, Cloud Architecture Design, Troubleshooting, Implementation, Load and Performance Testing. The Cloud Practitioner exam consists of a blend of scenario-based and straightforward WH questions which may come in the form of multiple choice or multiple response. In the first question type, there is a single accurate answer amidst three incorrect options 
whereas the multiple response format has two or more correct answers from a pool of five or more options. The exam comprises a total of 65 questions that you need to finish within 90 minutes or one hour and a half. The scoring system for these tests spans from 100 to 1000 with a minimum passing score of 700. AWS uses a scaled scoring method to equate scores across multiple exam types that may have different difficulty levels. The new version of the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner exam has the following content domains and weightings. For Domain 1, Cloud Concepts, 24% of scarred content. Domain 2, Security and Compliance, 30% of scarred content. For Domain 3, Cloud Technology and Services, 34% of scarred content. And lastly, Domain 4, Billing, Pricing and Support with 12% of scarred content. You'll receive an email with your exam results a few days after taking the test and the complete score report will be accessible through your AWS certification account at a later time. The exam costs 100 US dollars and offers the flexibility of being taken either at a nearby testing facility or online from the comfort of your home. The exam can also be taken in various languages to accommodate a broader range of candidates who are more comfortable and proficient in their native or preferred languages. The AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner exam stands out as the easiest among all AWS certifications. Its relative ease lies in the fact that a significant portion of the questions consists of straightforward WH questions, typically beginning with words like what, when, where, who, why, which, and how. Some items provide a brief scenario followed by concise questions, usually not exceeding two lines. The answer choices are also brief, comprising names of AWS services, phrases, or short statements. In contrast, the associate, professional, and specialty level AWS exams present candidates with intricate scenarios and lengthier answer choices. This distinction characterizes the cloud practitioner exam as an entry-level certification, making it notably manageable to pass. However, it's important to note that adequate preparation remains essential. The exam does incorporate a handful of challenging questions related to topics such as AWS billing and the AWS shared responsibility model requiring focused study efforts to secure a passing score. For candidates who unfortunately do not pass the AWS exam, a mandatory waiting period of 14 days is enforced before they can attempt a retake. There is no strict limit on the number of exam retries allowing candidates to try and try again until they achieve a passing result. It's worth noting that for each attempt, the full registration fee for the exam must be paid. After you've taken the exam, your AWS certification account will show your complete results within about 5 business days. This score report will break down how well you did for each domain of the exam telling you if you met the competency level required for these domains or not. AWS uses a compensatory scoring model when you don't have to pass every single exam domain. Your overall performance matters. You'll successfully pass the exam if you achieve a total score of 700 across four domains. Each part has a particular score value that corresponds to the number of questions, though some parts may have more questions than others. Your score performance table will show where you did well and where you need to work on improving. The following table shows the domains and the percentage of scored questions in each domain for the CLF C01 and the CLF C02 exam in use beginning on September 19, 2023. The updated version incorporates the AWS Cloud Adoption Framework, AWS CAF, and rearranges content into different categories without removing any content from the previous version. For a more in-depth comparison than AWS services covered, check out these helpful links. I hope this video has been informative. See you in the next one.